How's it going, people? Yeah. New year, same old book. Oh well. I'm so much closer to being done. Chapter 19 of 3rd Nephi. Names of the Nephite 12, them being the apostles in this hemisphere. Their baptism, the Holy Ghost given, the Savior's second visitation to these shores, an ineffable outpouring of prayer. Wow, it's so amazing they can't even describe it. One. And now, it came to pass. I flubbed an earlier attempt, so I had like one whole drink. I got about a verse and a half in and realized it wasn't recording. Okay, verse one. And now it came to pass that when Jesus had ascended into heaven, multitude had dispersed. That was over, what the fuck? And every man did take his wife and his children and did return to his own home. Two. And it was noised abroad among the people immediately. Wow, that's some commotion there. It was noised. I never heard it. I never heard that one before. Noised. Before it was yet dark that the multitude had seen Jesus and that he had ministered unto them and that he would again show himself on the morrow unto the multitude. He thinks he's seen a multitude. <laughs> I wonder if they all get to finger his wounds and bathe his feet in their, in their tears. Three. Yay. And even all the night it was noised abroad concerning Jesus noised. And in so much did they send forth unto the people that there were many, yea, an exceeding great number, did labor exceedingly, the exceeding great number labored exceedingly, all that night that they might be on the morrow in the place where Jesus should show himself unto the multitude. He's, he's fucking God. What on earth? I mean, he's popping up to Joseph Smith in the woods. They got Moroni popping up into his bedroom. Yeah. You know, personal trips for Alma Jr. And he can only show up one spot, get here or be square. Four, and it came to pass <sighs> mm, that on the morrow, when a multitude had gathered them together, behold, <clears throat> Nephi and his brother, whom he had raised from the dead, who was he? Nephi or Jesus? Who raised him? Nephi or Jesus? I'm not sure from that sentence there. Anyway, his brother, whom he, sounds like Nephi did it, had raised from the dead. Boy, they just stealing Jesus' thunder left and right. It's almost like Peter in the book of Acts. You know, I mean, his shadow fell on people and they were better. Alright. 
his brother whom he raised from the dead, whose name was Timothy. That's a like a Greco-Roman name. What the fuck has he got one of those for? If they left the old world before Nebuchadnezzar, around 600 BC. BC. Hellenism started around 300 BC. And also his son, whose name was Jonas. This is the, the, the big 12. Jonas, huh? All right, so we have a New Testament spelling of Jonah. And also, Math, Mathoni. And Mathoniha, his brother. And Cumin, and Cumanonhai. And Jeremiah, and Shimnon, and Jonas. So we got two Jonases, huh? And Zedekiah, and Isaiah. Now, these were the name of the disciples whom Jesus had chosen. And it came to pass. Twice in the same verse. Thank you. Uh, that they went forth and stood in the midst of the multitude. Now that we've learned and forgotten their names already. All right. Well, speaking for myself. <laughs> you probably remember. Five. And behold, the multitude was so great that they did cause that they should be separated into twelve bodies, like the signs of the zodiac, eh? and uh, also that uh, Levite's wife in the book of Judges, you know, the one that went to uh, Gibbo of Benjamin and had a Sodom and Gomorrah flashback. <laughs> I did a video, a video on that. Um, what's up with Sodom? Check it out. Maybe I'll put a link because I mentioned it. Maybe not. <sighs> twelve bodies. Six. And the twelve did teach the multitude. And behold, that's so fucking efficient, you know? One apostle to each multitude. We got 12 of them. 12 multitudes. <laughs> and behold, they did cause that the multitude should kneel down upon the face of the earth and should pray unto the Father in the name of Jesus. What's this in care of shit, you know? Uh, it's, you know, middleman. You got a middleman, the, the, the big G. What the fuck? Why not just pray to Jesus and then pray to God and then Jesus will go, hey, are you doing an in run past me? You gotta go through me. No one talks to the big man except through him. So, pucker up. <sighs> And should pray unto the Father in the name of Jesus. There we go. Uh, seven. And the disciples did pray unto the Father, also in the name of in the name of Jesus. They did it too. Okay, I get it. <sighs> the wording there. And it came to pass. Oh, I needed that. Uh, that? They arose and ministered unto the people. Eight. And when they had ministered those same words which Jesus had spoken, nothing varying from the words which Jesus had spoken, Behold, 
they knelt again and prayed to the Father in the name of Jesus. Back to back, huh? Nine. And they did pray for that which they most desired. <gasps> That'll do. And they desired that the Holy Ghost should be given unto them. That's an easy one. If you believe it's, it's there, then feel that fuzzy burning in the bosom. It's funny. Ten. And when they had thus prayed, they went down into the water's edge, and the multitude followed them. Oh, pouring too fast here. Where was I? Uh, oh, eleven. And it came to pass. Ah, pure delight. That Nephi went down into the water and was baptized, wasn't he already? I thought he was. Twelve. And he came out of the water and began to baptize. Now that it's official, he's all wet. He baptized all those whom Jesus had chosen. Thirteen. And it came to pass. When they were all baptized and had come up out of the water, the Holy Ghost did fall upon them. And they were filled with the Holy Ghost and with fire. Fourteen. And behold, they were encircled about as if it were by fire. And it came down from heaven, and the multitude did witness it, so you can be sure it's real, because a bunch of people in this book witness something in this book. 14. And behold, they were encircled about, as if it were by fire, and it came down from heaven, and the multitude did witness it, and did bear record. And angels did come down out of heaven and did minister unto them. Wow, an extravaganza. <laughs> Fifteen. And it came to pass. <clears throat> that while the angels were ministering unto the disciples, behold, Jesus came and stood in the midst and ministered unto them. Oh, now we're having a good time. <laughs> Fifteen. And it came to pass... Uh, that, while
while the angels were ministering. Wait, look. 16! That's right. 16! And it came to pass that he stood unto the multitude and commanded them that they should kneel down again upon the earth. And also that his disciples should kneel down upon the earth. Why do they say, hey, down everybody? Biatches? I own your asses because you let me. You wanted to belong. Now you belong to somebody. Okay. Seventeen. And it came to pass. Yeah. <laughs> Make sure, man. I'm rereading shit now. That when they had all knelt down upon the earth, he commanded his disciples that they should pray. 18. And behold, they began to pray. And they did pray unto the unto Jesus. Calling him their Lord and their God. Well, there's his chance to correct him if they're wrong. I guess he's God. Then who's he praying to? The Father's him. There's only one God, right? 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 All right. I'm suspecting there's none myself. 19. Not that I'm unwilling to change my mind with the uh, under the proper circumstances. Like if I woke up and everybody spoke the same language. Only God could do that. If everybody understood everybody, then I'd be impressed. Otherwise, ain't. This is Olav Sirkov. And bitchin', huh? Jamendo.com, link below, free download. You could have this. It's royalty free. You could play this. You could even give this guy money if you wanted to. I think I do. Damn, he's good. They're good. I don't know. Whoever. I just found Jamendo. Dot com recently somebody on YouTube told me about it. All right. Nineteen. And it came to pass. Uh, that Jesus departed out of the midst of them. And went a little way off. Okay. Oh, now he can just like pop from one spot to another. Little teleport pop. That's bitching. What the fuck? He's gone now. He's already been killed. And even though he's still wearing his his skin suit, his birthday suit, <coughs> and probably the same bloody robes. I don't know. Oh wait, no, no, maybe not. I seem to remember he's. They were white. Then again, all that blood might have, you know, because his white, his blood makes everything whiter than snow. Wish I could put that in my detergent. From them, he appeared a ways away from them and bowed himself to the earth, and he said, "20, Father, I thank thee that." Thou hast given the Holy Ghost unto oh. 
unto these whom I have chosen. And it is because of their belief. <laughs> yeah. That's all I gotta do. Feel the force. In me. Their belief in me. Not me necessarily, but the J, the J man. This guy. Hey, I. Keep him handy. <laughs> uh, me that I have chosen them out of the world, which is where they happen to live. So that's convenient. No Martian apostles, I guess. Twenty-one. Father, I pray thee that thou wilt give the Holy Ghost unto all of them that shall believe their words. Those twelve guys that he picked. Twenty-two. Father, thou hast given them the Holy Ghost because they believe in me. And thou seest that they believe in me, because thou hearest them, and they pray unto me, and they pray unto me because I am with them. <sighs> Twenty-three. And now, Father. I pray unto thee, even though you're also God, and really don't need to do that, I guess. I pray unto myself. I pray unto nothing, and pray upon nothing. So pretty marvelous. Just reading his little book here. I pray unto thee, thee for them. And also for all those who shall believe on their words, that they may believe in me, that I may be in them as thou, Father, art in me, that we may be one. Join the Borg, the collective, <sighs> the Homo Gestalt, as Theodore Sturgeon coined. All right. 24. And it came to pass. Uh, that when Jesus had thus prayed unto the Father, how about unto his Father? His dad. He came unto his disciples, and behold, <clears throat> they did still continue without ceasing to pray unto him. And they did not multiply many words. They stuck with the script mostly, apparently. For it was given unto them what they should pray. And they were filled with with desire. A good kind of desire, I guess. 25. And it came to pass. That Jesus blessed them as they did pray unto him. Oh, bless your little hearts, you kiss asses. 
<laughs> and his continents did smile upon them and shine upon them. And behold, they were as white as the continents and also the garments of Jesus. <clears throat> so Jesus is like, what, albino now? No, whiter than that, huh? A whiter shade of pale? Maybe. <laughs> and behold, the whiteness thereof did exceed all the whiteness. All of it! Really? <laughs> Yay! Even there could be nothing upon earth so white as the whiteness thereof. Twenty-six. And Jesus said unto them, Pray on. Nevertheless, they did not cease to pray. 27. And he turned from them again and went a little way off and bowed himself to the earth. And he prayed again unto the Father, saying, 28. Father, I thank thee that thou hast purified those whom I have chosen. Bleached them. <laughs> because of their faith. And I pray for them and also for them whom shall believe on their words that they may be purified in me. Through faith, got to believe it before you believe it. Then you'll believe it. On their words, even as they are purified in me. 29. Father, I pray not for the world. In fact, he fucking hates that place. The world. I disagree. I like the world. It's not a nice place, but it's the only place you can live on right now. I lost my place, sorry. Uh, ah, 29. I, I pray not for the world, but for those whom thou hast given me out of the world. They're out of this world. <laughs> because of their faith that they may be purified in me. That I may be in them as thou, Father, art in me. That we may be one, that I may be glorified in them. Much repetition there, JC? Thirty. And when Jesus had spoken these words, he came again unto his disciples, and behold, they did pray steadfastly without ceasing. And they complain about video games wasting time. <laughs> Not to him. Not that I play any. I don't have time. Uh, <laughs> and he did smile upon them again. And behold, they were white even as Jesus. 31. And it came to pass. Whoops. <laughs> Wise choice. 
Is that the last one? No. Ah. That? He went again. A little way off. That and off and freed unto the Father. There's a verse that matches that somewhere. Fuck it, I'm not going to look for it. 32. And tongue cannot speak the words which he prayed. And neither can be written by man the words which he prayed. <clears throat> That's a powerful Jedi magic. 33. And the multitude did hear and do bear record. So you can believe it. It's mass hysteria, but you can believe it. And their hearts were open, and they did understand in their hearts. Not necessarily in their heads, but in their hearts. The words which he prayed, which no tongue or brain or nobody can write. <laughs> right! <laughs> 31, uh, 34! 34. And nevertheless, so great. And marvelous are the words which he prayed, that they cannot be written, neither can they be uttered by man. Is this like in whale speak or something? Is he speaking in a weird... He was doing tongues, wasn't he? He was speaking in tongues. Let us be friends. 35. And it came to pass. Last drink, I think. Yeah. Only one barrelly there. <sighs> that when Jesus had made an end of praying, he came again to the disciples, and said unto them, Are they still praying? I forgot. So great faith have I never seen, you biatches. <laughs> Among all the Jews. We've heard about them. Not nice. Wherefore, I could not show unto them so great miracles because of their unbelief. 36. Verily, I say unto you, there are none of them that have seen so great things as ye have seen. All those angels doing cartwheels in the sky and crazy shit like that. As you ye have seen, neither have they heard so great things as ye have heard, because it got noised abroad, apparently. Well, anyway, that's it for 19. It's fucking fascinating, and I'd like to hear if you learned anything, because I might be making Mormons. It could happen. An atheist making Mormons. Wouldn't that be fucking wild? History making, maybe. Ew. Peace the fuck out. I'm going to do a DNC next. And hey, Happy New Year's. Uh, it's like what? Uh, it's the fourth. I don't know when I'll upload this. I haven't even uploaded the one from the first. So, because I hate watching my videos, I'd rather make them. This one's running along, and I'm. Wow, it's all one video. Fuck. I got to edit this shit. Anyway. Bye.